Well, hello, Bailey. Hey. Final look. We have not buffed it, but this is what it came out like. I hope you guys, hopefully you guys like how it looks. It looks so much better, but you guys can obviously see imperfections in black. We'll do better next time, a lot more body work, but that's what she looks like. And now I'm gonna go get more propane and I have a huge, huge surprise for you guys. Japanese don't yeah I got it you saw that one try. I'll send somebody five bucks right now if they can tell me what's in the box right now go ahead five five bucks let's go yep five bucks it snowed cool beans but guys in today's video I'm finally got the Holly Terminator X and if you guys don't know what that is that is a standalone harness and PCM that does a lot of self tuning so all you got to do is a, it's a plug and play for any of your gen 3 LS's like what I have all you do is plug everything in, literally plug and play hook up power and ground and then you're off it's super simple I actually had to go to a drive-by cable so I went ahead and got this Amazon special of the 92 millimeter. I hope it fits um, on the uh, turbo intercooler piping. Um, it came with my IAC and my TPS. So all I gotta do is hook that up and my drive-by cable. And so it's like a full swap. They do make this for a drive-by wire. Uh, that's called the Holly Terminator X Max, and that's for, you know, transmission controls as well. So today's video is gonna be me installing this thing and finally making sure this thing is not gonna blow up on me because of my tuning and experiences. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what's in the box? Blah, blah, blah. The Holly Terminator X, pretty much get instructions, get some wiring. You do get a Bosch Wideband connector as well. Good thing I already have one, so I don't have to actually run the wiring. Um, so pretty much I can run this in Kona when I go to the nitrous build or turbo build, <laughs> hint in the future. Um, you get the wiring harness for something here. I forget, I think, do believe something here. And something here, something here, main harness, uh, looks like, here is the relays um, that you plug on to your power and ground on the thingy. Um, and then obviously you got your ICT billet three to four bolt adapter to run a different one, unless you wanna run the stock throttle body, which is a three bolt. The IAT and the TPS and throttle cable, blah, blah, blah. And then let's go ahead and take out the PCM. Okay. Feels like Christmas all over again. And here it is, the Holly Terminator X. So literally, it's super small. I thought it'd be a little longer, um, but it's pretty small. This is gonna go for your map, I already know that. And then you got your little three, 3 3.5 inch digital screen, if I can get this thing opened. So, let's go ahead and get this thing all unplugged and pretty much start running the whole Terminator setup.
This honestly kind of sucks right now. It's it's super hot in here, uh, which is nice, but I think it's because of layers. Anywho, so it fit over there really nice. Everything is good. This thing is not actually gonna move and get anywhere near this. Now I'm moving this pretty hard and it's not moving. I uh, got the IAC plugged in, got the TPMS plugged or TPS plugged in. All I gotta do now is run the cable and then probably plug this off because technically it goes right here. But I can just plug this off because uh, that's literally the same thing. I might run this to a breather or a uh, or a catch can. I don't know yet. I have the catch can. I need to install it, obviously. I got the throttle cable hooked up, ready to go. Don't mind this, this is, I really hope that didn't mess up now. Oh, it might mess up. Um, I need to figure out this right here. I put this on there thinking, hey, it, it won't, you know, let it rub through. Uh, now that I tried that, I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, I don't know, okay, let's find out. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and hit the gas pedal a couple times. Uh, I actually got the old Fox Body one hooked up. Let's see. It does not feel good when I press on it. I don't know. Um, didn't look like it did anything, but I did not like the feel of it. I might see if I just plug this one here and then undo this one and just get a longer hose that goes right into it. Uh, or I can actually run my oil catch can. Um, that might be something I do instead of that. Uh, just for now, but let's go ahead. I got the main harness um, That powers the Holly Terminator uh, Hooked up you're not supposed to put it to a switch just put it up to the power and to the ground I have it ran underneath So I've been debating for about 20 minutes now where I want this uh, Screen I kind of wanted it right there, but you can't see it. I wish it was right here um, But in due time, I guess I guess for now. I'll just mount it right here um, so everything just looks very uh, clean, I guess. Even though I think this is gonna be an op now, and then this is not gonna work as well on my AEM gauge. Uh, so I need to technically take those out because this is what it's gonna be running. But let's go ahead and just mount it right here and call it a day. See from that ugly mess to something nice and clean. I just need to find a cover because that's ugly right there. It's just open, but that is a lot cleaner and a lot better. And I'll add again, it's actually this wire. You're going to find these two wires. This is the red and the white, like I was talking about. And then there's the black one to the ground. So technically now another live one that should be on. Fuck. Yes. Okay, so now uh, that I got the harness hooked up for the injectors, I did notice uh, that the red on all of these uh, wires, that is the ground. So if, I really don't wanna spend the extra $100 if I don't have to. Um, so I'm gonna take my old ones that I had for the Simon Deca 80 pound injectors, go ahead and wire these in. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, black is your ground, red is gonna be your pulse. Uh, so just go ahead and just make sure not to cross these over so black goes to red. I'm gonna go ahead and get the soldering out and uh, make sure these connections are all good and tight. All right, got the harness all um, soldered together and then obviously heat shrinked. Um, so now all I gotta do is plug and play. Very self-explanatory. So. Okay, next, once you do your TPMS, go GM, that's what we have next. Eight cylinder, yep. 
firing order, yep. Um, we'll do cubic inches. I do believe this one is a 327, 326, something like that. And then obviously just go through these screens and then uh, it'll ask for your fuel injectors. Go ahead and hit the Simons, um, unless you have something different. Obviously, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's loads of videos on this Holly install. Just go ahead and check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and finish everything up and then give it a start. Once everything is clicked, hit start. And now I'm uploading everything. It's actually pretty nerve-wracking here. Okay, now it says, please cycle the ignition to complete the operation. So hit finish and turn off. Turn the car back on. Now everything should be good. I don't have to do anything else. Um, so technically. Started right up. All right, now we just let everything do its own job. Uh, just relearn everything and just have the car idling. Like look, it's already showing 13.9. That's what I wanted, 14.2. So it's already technically learning everything. I really gotta make sure the battery voltage is gonna be good um, and you know go up because 11.8 is not good. And so I'm gonna let this warm up and let it do its thing. That kind of freaked me out. Understand what that was now. Holy shit. That was fuel. Holy dog poopy. Huh. What the fuck? Straight up shooting. Is that fuel or water? Holy. I don't know what that is. I feel like that was water shooting out, but wow, what the, see the fuel or water? Oh, it's water. It was water. Now you gotta leave a like for that one. Oh man, I <laughs> guys, it's just me. I swear this is all me. Dang, man. That was me, okay, freaked me out. Let's go ahead and fix that problem. Okay, just make sure you go to monitor. It's already on there, that's cool. Yeah, I guess I don't need a tack. I have that, so I don't need this anymore. Everything else is looking good. Boost gauge, fuel. So, my AEM gauge is showing 14.7. This one's showing me 14. I might as well just go out of this guy, cause th oh yeah, this one's not even plugged in. So it should be good now, right? Right? are the holly terminator x is installed everything's working as it should i just got to wire in the alternator now so the battery voltage will stop saying 11.7 and we'll say like 14.4 or something but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you didn't drop a like guys it's gonna get really intense from here on out i'm gonna start driving this daily and um just leave a like subscribe if you guys are new and i'll see you guys next one peace out